Hello there amazing viewers and subscribers and welcome to a brand new Doctor Who Big Finish Review for today. So this Big Finish Review is of course Doctor Who Hour of the Cybermen. Now this is a fantastic audio adventure starring the Sixth Doctor battle against Cybermen with the help of Unit. So what can I say about this story that I really love? Now as you can see I've done a nice little figure display to try and represent the story of Doctor Who Hour of the Cybermen. I absolutely did actually love listening to this audio. So I'm going to put this audio here for now. So as you can see, leaning against Simon and the, the TARDIS. I absolutely did actually love listening to this audio. It's got some great stuff in it. Now, the Doctor teams up with Unit because Unit actually used the space-time telegram that the fourth Doctor left, Brigadier Alistair Gordon left with Stuart. That, that at the end of Revenge of Seven, the, the fourth Doctor feels the Brigadier's used, and then it leads into the next story in season 13 in Tales of Zygon. So he ends up getting the te space time telegram. And it was even used in the 50th anniversary in Day of the Doctor. So it's kind of cool we got that message as well. Now, I absolutely did actually love this audio. So a call from Unit brings the Doctor to back to London. The streets are being deserted. Now, I love the fact when we kind of hear the Doctor leaving the TARDIS and then you kind of got that sound with the Doctor saying, streets are being deserted. I hope this has nothing to do with dinosaurs again, which is a reference to the invasion of dinosaurs, a John Pertwee story back in 1974. And I really absolutely did actually enjoy that reference. I hope it's not dinosaurs again. It's something the Doctor would say. I, mean, <laughs> I love the fact we've got that kind of reference in this audio adventure. Now, this also is great story is a fantastic unit story. I love listening to unit in this one as well. And I also love listening to a few others. So, there's a kind of like plague in the water. Like a massive... Oh, when the water's like dried up, it's like a dessert. So, oh, I can't say what... I, don't, I, I can't say what it is, I'm afraid. But anyway... But that was all down to the Cybermen. The Cybermen have drained the UK's water supply to make them um, kind of thirsty. They, they want to drink and stuff. So with the Cybermen's plan, the Cybermen are trying to invade Earth. Now, underneath unit, where they've got this unit base, it's where the Cyber have hide underneath the oceans and stuff. An entire whole Cyber bait fleet in the middle of the oceans, which is literally discovered by the Six Doctor using the TARDIS to materialise above the Earth's orbit to find... Units kind of like space um pod things that you know sends message across space and stuff. And the doctor refigures it, finds it's got control of the Simon, and then he uses it and basically changes it into the Simon gas known as methylene that the Simon are basically using to breathe and stuff. I absolutely did actually love this audio when you kind of hear that the cap Captain Weaver is basically captured by the Cybermen and he's literally saying. I'm not telling you anything. We don't need to know anything. We have a spy in unit. That's the thing. The Simon have really set up a fantastic spy. Working with the Doctor. And of course when the Doctor re realises that he's a spy. It's a bit too late. And the Doctor basically goes all Doctorish on him. And I really love this actual fantastic audio adventure of Stone the Sixth Doctor. I have to say... Now, to actually hear the unit battle against the Cybermen for, is absolutely fantastic as well. Because, yes, we do know the unit were there in the Peter Capaldi era with the Cybermen. And it was also there with Patrick Troughton with the Cybermen. But, to be honest with you, to actually hear a Colin Baker story with unit and battle against Cybermen a long time since the invasion in 1968 is absolutely fantastic. I always love... Listening, I always love Unit when they're battling against the Cybermen in the invasion. So to actually hear them like battle the invade, battle the Cybermen again in the invade in this story is absolutely good. But the one thing I have to say is I really wish they could have included Brigadier Alistair Gordon Lippis Stewart somehow because in this unit kind of like in this unit base, there ain't no Brigadier. There's like a captain. There's a com like a commander. Um, there was like a cor a corporal, not corp, yeah, corporal and a colonel, but no, no brickadier. So really, there ain't no brickadiers. And I'm like, why is there not a brickadier in the story? And I kind of like the way the fact that the story literally it really fills out. It's four episodes. It really does actually fill it out instead of like being like totally random, like dragging it out for some cultless time like some stories do 
I have to say, I absolutely do love this story. To actually hear that the Cybermen have been patient, setting their plans for years as the final stage is literally impermanent. Uh, to actually kind of hear the way the Cybermen have been very cunning and stuff. And this is the thing about 80 Cybermen. The Cybermen have been really, good, really, really used really well in the 80s. And I really wish that, you know, for the modern genre of Doctor Who, I kind of hope... We get like the Simon being more cunning in future Doctor Who episodes for the modern era. Not because that's the one thing about the Simon stories that really bugged me in the kind of like with Tennant, Smith, Capaldi, and Whitaker is that the Cybermen don't really do much. They're just like there, and I kind of want the, I kind of want the Simon to go back the way they were in the eighties, like coming up with these plans, like in Earthshock where they're going to use the freighter to fly into the Earth. Or, you know, like in T Tuck of the Simon, where they're going to literally c capture two time machines and literally try and change the course of history. I kind of want the Simon to go back to being like their cunning plans, like like they are in this story. Very, very cunning and stuff. And that's the thing I really miss about the Simon. So, talking about the main cast, every little character is brilliant. I mean, Colin Baker, brilliant as the Doctor. Um, there are two people that literally ran away from the Cybermen on their home planet and then they ended up on Earth. And one of them was halfly converted and the Doctor's just there trying to help them. But that really, literally, this is an amazing Cyberman story. It feels so 1980s. And the fact is that we've got the Dominic Glynn theme as well. It really pa makes it pass it's like season 22. So, the, so for this story, there's no companion travelling with the Sixth Doctor. So it's literally just the Sixth Doctor travelling on his own and going into this adventure battle against Cybermen. And, of course, you need David Banks is back as the Cyber Leader. Now, David Banks played the Cyber Leader in all four 1980 stories, like in Earthshock, The Five Doctors, Attack of Cybermen, and Silver Nemesis. So to actually hear him back is pretty good, I have to say. And this story, as I say, it just feels so much like the 80s. The music, like the instrumental music that was used in this audio... It feels like it actually does fit in with the kind of late and 80s time period. I absolutely do love this audio. When you kind of hear that Captain Weaver is to be converted into a Cyberman, but he ends up escaping by killing a Cyberman and trying to help the person that's also been captured by the Cyberman to escape as well. I have to say, it's just absolutely fantastic. This story is literally a fantastic unit story. I absolutely love it. It's great to hear unit in it. I kind of want more unit stories now for Big Finish. I probably might try and track some down. I absolutely did actually love this audio. I mean, Hour of the Cybermen is just literally fantastic. I can't say anything bad about this audio. It's literally just fantastic and stuff. And I, I absolutely love genuinely listening to it. I'm looking forward to listening to this one again. So, I don't want to give too much away of the plot and stuff for this review. Because I want, in case you want to go and listen to it. But I highly recommend this. This story is a strong 10 out of 10. It is a fantastic 10 out of 10 story. I absolutely love Colin Baker in this. I love the Cybermen. And the fact that we've got David Banks back as well is absolutely fantastic. So, yeah. Stay tuned for a new Big Finish review coming out soon, which is on Warzone slash Conversion, which is another Cyberman story, but starring Peter Davidson, Sarah Sutton, and Janet Fielding as the Doctor, Nissa, and Tegan as they come across the Cybermen yet again. So, stay tuned for that review. Thank you for watching this video. Please do like, subscribe, and share, and join me for more awesome Doctor Who content. And also, let me know in the comments what you think of Doctor Who, Hour of the Cybermen, if you've listened to it. Thank you for watching, and have a great day.